I know there's a lot of unsavory things going on in the news and uh, lots of um, reports of uh, wrongdoing and all sorts of things happening in business and politics and so forth. But I have to tell you that you have to be careful that you don't adopt a suspicious attitude about your market, about your business, about people who propose things to you, about your opportunities, because you just won't progress if you have suspicions all the time. If you feel that there's always some injustice going on, you're just not going to make it. Now, I know that there's good reason sometimes to believe that, and you're certainly going to run into people who... Uh, are, are not straight or not doing things right or doing things poorly and you will figure that out as you get involved and you obviously have to have safeguards in your business and your contracts and your relationships and your negotiations and so forth to make sure that you are dealing on the up and up with people and that you're doing your best the best you can to have a favorable relationship you know one uh, rule that uh, in the financial markets has always been know, know thy customer, know who you're dealing with. And obviously you want to figure out who you're dealing with when it comes to doing business and partnerships and alliances and joint ventures and all that. But what I'm talking about here is just a general attitude of feeling that somehow you might be taken advantage of, that you might be the victim of some injustice, that you might be uh, involved in someone who's trying to undermine you. That's not going to help you if you're trying to succeed in business. You have to be able to look at the opportunities, look at the relationship, look at the merits of what you're doing, and see if this is something that makes sense. Not worrying about, well, if I do this, here's how this person will benefit. Or this person is trying to take advantage of me. This person is trying to use me, my brand, what have you. You have to find a way to capitalize on opportunities without always thinking that somehow there is some negative subtext to it. I find a lot of people who will talk themselves out of great opportunities because they're so worried about someone else benefiting or so worried that someone else will somehow get the upper hand in the relationship. Does it make strategic sense to you? Will it advance you? Will you learn something out of it? Will you be introduced to others? Will you make money doing it? You have to look at all of these things in the context. Does it fit what you want to do creatively? Does it fit what you want to do ethically? Does it fit what's important to you? And if all those things make sense, give it a go. See if it works. Try it out. Test it. See if it will work. Test out relationships and see how they pan out. Sometimes you can only figure that out until you get into business with someone, until you get into a relationship, a business relationship with them, and you're able to see how things pan out. So don't be suspicious. Give it a try. Test it out. See if it will work. Don't talk yourself out of great opportunities and great possibilities for your career and your business. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. You can share this uh, with someone in your network by um, sharing it, of course, and forwarding it to them and asking them to subscribe. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel by clicking the photo with my icon, um, or the icon with my photo, I should say. There's a lot more coming, and I will see you next time.